Good day, math learners. I am Mr. Donald Baluran, and today we will be discussing on the forms of sequence. There are two forms of sequence. They are recursive form and explicit form. But this time, we will be focusing more on explicit form. When we say explicit form of sequence, its preceding term is not necessary to find the succeeding terms. Rather, its expression is used to find a term of a sequence by determining its position. For example, determine the next two terms in the given sequence, which is 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25, then write the explicit form of the sequence. Let a sub 1 or the first term is equal to 1, a sub 2 or the second term is equal to 4, a sub 3 or the third term is equal to 9, a sub 4 or the fourth term is equal to 16, and a sub 5 or the fifth term is equal to 25. Now, this solution can be written into this tabular form, where n represents the position of each term in a given sequence, and a sub n represents the value of each term in a given sequence. Now, what must be the explicit formula of the sequence? What mathematical process to be applied in order to have answers which are 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25 in accordance to their position? If you observe the values of the given terms, they are said to be perfect squares. Yes, when we say perfect squares, they are the products of a number being squared. And they can be written into exponential forms. Since 1 is a perfect square, its exponential form is 1 squared. 4 also is a perfect square, then its exponential form is 2 squared. 9 is 3 squared, 16 is 4 squared, and 25. As you can see, the bases of the exponential forms are the same with the positions of the given terms. So we have 1 here, we have also 1 here as well. We have 2 here, we have 2 here as well. We have 3 here, we have 3 here as well. So, therefore, the explicit formula of this sequence is a sub n is equal to n squared. Since we are still asked to get the next two terms of the given sequence, specifically we are asked to get 6 and the 7th terms of the sequence, please consider the explicit formula which is a sub n is equal to n squared. So, here are the solutions. If n is equal to 6, since we are looking for the 6th term of the sequence, copy the explicit formula which is a sub n is equal to n squared, substitute n with 6, so 6 squared is equal to 36, meaning our 6th term is 36. If n is equal to 7, since we are also looking for the 7th term of the sequence, copy the explicit formula which is a sub n is equal to n squared, and then substitute n with 7, so 7 squared, and the answer is equal to 49, meaning our 7th term is equal to 49. For example, number 2, determine the next two terms in the given sequence, which is 3, 5, 9, 17, and 33. Then write explicit form of the sequence. Same thing that we are going to do. Make a table for the values of our terms and their positions in a sequence. Now, what must be the explicit formula of the sequence? 
what mathematical process to be applied in order to have answers which are 3, 5, 9, 17, 33 in accordance to their positions. Here is the solution. We all know that to get 3, which is the value of the first term, you can add 2 and 1. For the second term, you can add 4 and 1. For the third term, you can add 8 and 1 to get 9. For the fourth term, you can add 16 and 1 to get 17. And for the fifth term, you can add 32 and 1 to get 33. But remember class, to get the explicit formula, you have to consider the positions of the given terms in a sequence. For example, in the first term, okay, here, you can see number 1 here. But in the process of getting the second term, you cannot see a number 2. Okay? In the process of getting the third term, you cannot see a number 3. In the process of getting the value of the fourth term, you cannot see a number 4. In the process of getting the value of the fifth term, you cannot see a number 5 in this process. Now, what must be the explicit form? We all know that 2 can be written in this form. 2 raised to 1, copy plus 1, and the answer is 3, which is the first value. Okay? 4 can be written in this exponential form. 2 raised to 2, copy plus 1, and the answer is 5. 8 can be written into 2 raised to 3. And then, copy plus 1, it is equal to 9. 16 can be written into 2 raised to 4 plus 1 equals 17. And 32 can be written into 2 raised to 5 and copy 1, which is equal to 33. So what must be the pattern that you can observe and come up for the explicit formula? Yes, its explicit formula is a sub n is equal to 2 raised to n plus 1 in which n represents the position of the term in the given sequence. Since we are still asked to get the next two terms of the given sequence, specifically the 6 and 7 terms, okay, we have to consider the explicit formula which is a sub n is equal to 2 raised to n plus 1. So the solution n is equal to 6 because we are looking for the 6th term. Copy the formula and then substitute the value of n which is 6 and it will become a sub 6 is equal to 2 raised to 6 plus 1. 2 raised to 6, the answer is 64 and then copy plus 1 and the 6th term is considered 65. And for the 7th term, okay, copy the formula substitute n which is 7 so a sub 7 is equal to 2 raised to 7 plus 1 and 2 raised to 7 the answer is 128 and a sub 7 is equal to 129 so therefore the seventh term uh, for this sequence is 129 for example number 3 Determine the next two terms in the given sequence, which is 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. Then write the explicit form of the given sequence. Same thing that we are going to do. Make a tabular form for the terms and their positions in a sequence. Now, what must be the explicit formula of the sequence? What mathematical process to be applied 
in order to have answers which are 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 in accordance to their positions. Here is the solution. We all know that to get 4, which is the value of the first term, you can add 2 and 2. For the second term, you can add 4 and 2 to get 6. For the third term, you can add 6 and 2 to get 8. For the fourth term, you can add 8 and 2 to get 10. And for the fifth term, you can add 10 and 2 to get 12. But remember, to get the explicit formula, you have to consider the positions of the given terms in a sequence. As you can see in the mathematical process of the first term, here, you can't see or you cannot see a number 1 here. In the mathematical process of the second term, you can see 2 here. In the mathematical process of the third term, you cannot see number 3 here. In the mathematical process of the fourth term, you cannot see number 4 here. In the mathematical process of the fifth term, you cannot see 5 here. But, this process can be written into this form. For a sub 1 is equal to 2 plus 2, it will become 2 times 1 plus 2, it is equal to 4. For a sub 2 is equal to 4 plus 2, it can be written into 2 times 2 plus 2 equal, equal 6. For a sub 3 is equal to 6 plus 2, it can be written into 2 times 3 plus 2 equals 8. For a sub 4 is equal to 8 plus 2, it can be written to 2 times 4 plus 2 equals 10. And for the a sub 5 equals 10 plus 2, it can be written to 2 times 5 plus 2 equals 12. So, what must be the pattern that you can observe and come up for the explicit formula? Based on this process, yes, it is a sub n is equal to 2n plus 2. Since we are still asked to get the next two terms of the given sequence, specifically the 6th and the 7th terms, for the explicit formula, please do not forget this, a sub n is equal to 2n plus 2. Now, the solution, n is equal to 6 because we are looking for the 6th term. So, copy the formula and substitute the value of n which is 6. So, a sub 6 is equal to 2 times 6 plus 2. And 2 times 6, the answer is 12. 12 plus 2, the answer is 14, meaning to say the 6th term is 14. For the seventh term, copy the formula, substitute the value of n which is 7, so it will become a sub 7 is equal to 2 times 7 plus 2. a sub 7 is equal to 14 plus 2 and 14 plus 2 that is 16. So meaning to say the seventh term would be 16. Find the first four terms of the sequence a sub n is equal to 3n plus 1. Sometimes, you are asked to get the terms in a sequence in which the given is the explicit formula. Here is the solution. a sub n is equal to 3n plus 1. Okay, substitute the value of n which is 1 for the first term. So, a sub 1 is equal to 3 times 1 plus 1. It is equal to 3 plus 1. And the answer is 4. For the second term, you are going to substitute the value of n with 2. So, a sub 2 is equal to 3 times 2 plus 1. It is equal to 6 plus 1. The answer is 7. For the third term, you are going to substitute the value of n with 3. So, a sub 3 is equal to 3 times 3 plus 1 is equal to 9 plus 1, the answer is 10. And for the fourth term, a sub 4 is equal to 3 times 4 plus 1, it is equal to 12 plus 1, 
and then the answer is 13. So, the first four terms are 4, 7, 10, and 13. For example, number 5. Find the 6th and the 23rd term of the sequence. A sub n is equal to n squared minus 1 over n squared plus 1. So this time you are asked to get the 6th and the 23rd terms of the sequence only. So here is the solution. Since we are looking for the 6th term, okay, copy the formula. Substitute the value of n, which is 6. So, a sub 6 is equal to 6 squared minus 1 over 6 squared plus 1. Simplify them further. a sub 6 is equal to 36 minus 1 over 36 plus 1. And a sub 6 is equal to 35 over 37. And, since we are looking for the 23rd term of the sequence, just copy the formula. Substitute the value of n which is 23. So 23 squared minus 1 over 23 squared plus 1. Simplify them further. So we will be getting a sub 23 is equal to 529 minus 1 over 529 plus 1. So it is equal to 528 over 530. 528 over 530 is not considered as the simplest form. So, we are going to divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So, you will be getting 264 over 265 as our 23rd term of the given sequence. Thank you for listening, math learners. See you next time.